All right, this video is regarding the DJ Control MP3E2 MIDI controller. Um, inside the box, I will include the uh, installation disc. Um, this is the book manual. And then I also have the installation disc and a fiber optic cable for the external sound card, which is right here, um, hooked into my computer via USB. And regarding the sound card, um, you don't actually need it um, plugged in unless you plan on going to more than two speakers. So if you're just using monitor speakers, um, such as the one here and my other one that's hidden back there, uh, you won't need the sound card. And if you don't feel like you're going to need the sound card, I would like to keep it. However, um, you know, I will include it if you feel that you will uh, make use of it. And then this here is the the unit. Um, you got deck A and deck B, your volumes and your fader, and you have highs, mids, and low. This is for some effects here, and then pitch and stuff here, with play and cue down here, and these buttons here. Um, control which song you are hearing in your headphones. So on my computer, um, I'll open up the software that comes with the program. I downloaded a um, a better version of the program, but it's Virtual DJ. Um, so your your program won't look like this unless you have an updated version. And you simply can just drag songs to each deck. You can also monitor um, and scroll through using the arrows here and your file directory there in that button. Um, but I, I prefer just to drag. And I have it, the, this unit hooked into my computer via USB over here. And I have my um, headphone jack running to my satellite um, speakers. So you simply can hit play. And you can see here that volume goes up, volume goes down. To the right, it cuts out. To the left, it cuts on. And if you were to have headphones plugged in, you'd push this button here, and you would hear the song in the headphones as well. Um, there's also, you know, a scratch function. And to show that the right deck works, put the fader in the middle. Some simple effects are loops. Loops. You got your highs, your lows, and your mids. There's this here is your scratch function. There is an auto mix um, button here, and that's about it. Um, like I said, if you if you really think that you'll put use to the external sound card, I will include it. However, if you don't think you will need it, and you just plan on using, you know, like a 2.1 speaker system hooked up to your computer then I would would like to keep it but everything is included everything works if you have any other questions just let me know